Elderly neighbours, Frank and Ken, haven't seen eye to eye for decades. But their latest disagreement ended with Frank deliberately running Ken over with his mobility scooter and a meeting with the police. If he wants war, I'll accommodate him. Don't worry about that. But really, get over it. Grow up. Meet 90-year-old feisty Frank. Oh, sir, I should, I should break your neck with it like that. And 91-year-old cranky Ken. He's a waste of good air. A complete The grumpy great-grandfathers who'd been mistaken for teenage terrors. And I said, hi, hi, like that to him. He goes, meh. <laughs> They've been bickering for years, but things really boiled over in a footpath fight. Frank swerving his mobility scooter into Ken, knocking him to the ground. I said to myself, I've got to keep an eye on him because I know what he's like. He was coming down and I was on that side of the road. Better move out of the way so I can okay, show you better. Okay. And uh, he pushed me and he pushed me. I went like that. That's how I swerved. But I'm still looking out that way. And then you've hit him. I've got to, I've got to admit I hit him, but I, I can't remember hitting him. Ken wasn't seriously hurt, but lay bleeding yeah. as his neighbour sped away. Boom, spread eagle down the, out in the carpet and couldn't, couldn't get up. Days later, police came knocking and 90-year-old Frank had a trip to the local cop shop in trouble with the law for the first time in his life. I just told him that I didn't do it and that we both act like children, like 16-year-olds. Like 16-year-olds? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but we do. Have you hit someone before on uh, your scooter? No. Ken says his elderly neighbour has a need for speed. He just goes like that. Well, it's quite fast. Um, good job to keep up with you, Frank. Oh. No, they're going to do that. <laughs> Former defence worker Frank says the long-running dispute all started over a tree blocking a drain at his next-door neighbours. He tried to chop it down when Ken intervened. About planting a bloody tree there and everything. He just saying, remove it. Yeah, 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 yeah. What did he say to you? He just came in and said, get out there, yeah, yeah. And then he said, who are you not going to cut that? I'm going to cut that. You're telling me he's very, very cheeky? Yes, he can be, and he, he can be quite aggressive too. Can he? <laughs> yeah. Frank's daughter Chris has seen it all. He was upset because my neighbour had his foot on the on his property, one foot, and um, my father's coming out with his little fists and get off my property, you know. Wow. And um, and Ken didn't move, he just said, I'm not on your property. And then all of a sudden, Jim McCricket jumped on Ken's neck, back, and tried to wring his neck. <laughs> and poor Ken went like that and Frank just rolled under the... <laughs> The squabbling seniors live directly opposite each other in Rosebud on Victoria's Mornington Peninsula. Frank's lived here 20 years, Ken almost five decades. You wouldn't believe it, but they once used to be mates before things soured. Just put his arms around like this. Wow. You know? And he says, well, as he's walking up to me from the house, mm. I'll break your neck, I'll break your neck. So that's when I turned and boom and threw him. You threw him? Yeah, yeah like with, with the job of his neck. Frank eventually had his day in court here, spared the worst and given a six-month good behaviour bond with no conviction. He did, though, cop a scolding from the magistrate who told him he can't go around mowing people down with his scooter. Do you think you might go to jail? Yep. I thought it might get about three months. Frank pleaded guilty to the attack, but still denies he did anything wrong. I've had to take their word for it that I hit him. Just because there were witnesses? Yeah. What did the witnesses say? Well, one of them said that uh, I swerved, knocked him over, went up and sped down the road. Yeah, they are behaving like grumpy old men, but don't demean men, they're behaving like idiots. They should grow up. 3AW broadcaster Neil Mitchell. I don't think he should have been in court. I think they should have sat them both down and given them a lecture. The police should have handled it in a different way. The two haven't spoken since the assault. One of them chaps up here said to me, he said, uh, did you run him down? I said, no, I didn't. He said, well, if you did, you did a damn rotten job. of it's because he's still walking around. <laughs> wow, that's a bit cheeky, Frank. <laughs> the point is, mm. he, goes to every he goes to church every Sunday around the corner. 
So it's not very church-like. No. And don't hold your breath. Sorry isn't the word that'll be coming out of either man's mouth anytime soon. You don't forget you're in a good behaviour, you've got to behave yourself. <laughs> and are you going to behave yourself, Frank? <laughs> I hope you do behave yourself. Yeah, I will. Some people don't want a peaceful life, do they? Ken says he's planning on taking out a restraining order on Frank, who's since bought a camera to bring along on every scooter outing.